welcome to a ham raid networking video and for all those other people out there that are looking for a crazy nice advanced radar for very very cheap i know of one that i found from a friend of mine um his name is tim so let's just look at this website here so there is a company called gr level x and they have all kinds of different radar systems and stuff like that and a really cool feature is with the GR2 Analyst, which costs $275. We are not going to be taking a look at that. We're going to be taking a look at something much, much more affordable. But um, uh, these radars are ultra-packed, and you can add things to it to give you all kinds of cool information. So um, uh, if you buy it, it costs $80, which is a one-time purchase. This thing should last you forever. Um, so only eighty dollars to get into a very crisp radar so all you have to do is run this exe buy it put in your code which is like double the length of a microsoft powerpoint or a windows license key and here is what the radar looks like so if we look here um all these people here under a tornado watch i believe might have get that wrong but um so right now this radar looks really really crazy so i'm connected to a radio on the klnx station tower and uh, let's just go with the basics of what everyone knows your your regular radar so you got your greens for sight rain and yellows for lightning and reds for ultra high storm and uh, if we look here we can see there is a cell and uh or a tvs right here and it's not a tornado but it's all this place here especially in mullen they're all seeking shelter right now because of a tornado warning um so yeah it's some uh there's another tornado warning right here so if we look here um there is some rotation right here and it's really cool to watch these things so your basic radar so well, i'm going to go into some advanced features so if you look here you can get the velocity and so if you want to see velocity you can see that there's red mixed in with the green and when you see stuff like that that means there is some rotation going on which in here there is a a a lot of rotation uh, this is actually pretty big right here um so when you have reds mixed in with uh, the greens right here that means there's some rotation or greens mixed with the reds vice versa and uh, it's also got this little cell icon because it's a cell right now it's not a tornado yet but there is a good chance that it could touch the ground and if we go back over here you can see that there's this green right here mixed in with all this red so that's also a sign of there's possibly a big tornado here now to see um, like if there is actually a tornado, there's a tool called CC. I forgot the name off the top of my head, but basically if we take a look at this, um, wherever there's red, that means there's something different. So like all this purple stuff means there's rain and hail and stuff like that. Um, but when you start to see, uh, I'll take this as an example. This is just the radar being weird at the very beginning. Um, it's not always 100% accurate, but if let's say you see a blue circle right here where the tornado or the uh, cell is, if it's blue and it's a circle of blueness right here, currently it's just red, but if it was to be blue, that means there would be a chance of there being, that means there is a almost guarantee that there is a tornado on the ground because that blue is the radar seeing shingles and bricks and debris that should not be in the sky unless there's a tornado there and there's another tornado warning uh, that just went up here so let's go take a look at that real quick I'll use the velocity for here and see we got this red right here this is a really big um, cell cloud right here um, wow so I'm uh, taking a look back at here see it gives you information about like the size and sometimes it'll give you how fast it's moving. So if we move over here, hover over this, we see there's a cell right there, the size, um, 
well, if we look here, it'll tell you the speed it's going and uh, a lot of stuff that if you really know what you're doing, you could figure that out. And this is the storm relative velocity, which is slightly different, but is very similar. So we see a bunch of colors mixed in right here, um, as well as a big red right here. So if there's a bunch of colors, that means there's severe rotation. There's more drastic rotation than what it is right here, but this is at a larger scale. And another tornado warning just came in effect here. So we see some, uh, it looks like some rotation here and rotation here. So that's how you can tell if there's rotation in here. And if I want to see if there's any tornadoes on the ground, just go here. Doesn't really look like it here. There is this green right here, which is kind of unnormal. So that means that there is probably a funnel cloud or something like that along these lines. I might be in incorrect on that, but that means it's getting low and it's pretty big right here in this little area right here. So five tornadoes right here in Nebraska on the date of 5-12-2023. There's another tornado warning here. So let's bring up the active warnings, which this is really cool. If I look at this and I full screen this, It'll give you all the warnings in the um, United States, basically, which is really, real cool. It tells you when they expire. And so if you see this, you can be like, oh, I want to go check out what the storm's doing. Well, it's super easy to do that. And then there is some storm attributes here. This gives you different storm attributes um, and stuff like that. And some information on like these tornadoes and stuff like that, which is really, really cool and handy. And then uh, if you click on one of these, so if I want to see the one in Cherry, Nebraska. So if you double click on one of these, it'll zoom in the radar, that area. And then it'll also give you the warning text and like the NOAA weather um, alert there, which is a really nice handy tool. And it's really handy if you have multiple monitors for this, which I do. So looking back over here. Um, oh, there's... There's the tornado. I, 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 okay. I guess I said it correctly. But yes, there's a tornado um, on the ground. It's a large, uh, well, it's, yeah, vortex. So, yep, I was correct. So, these green colors and stuff like that, that means there is some debris and stuff like that. And if there's uh, blue colors, that's even heavier and stuff like that. So, tornado on the ground in Nebraska. So, it's, so it's really handy to see this stuff. Um... And I guess um, for the ham radio operators out there, there is plugins you can get. So I want to minimize this radar. And using these, this is a website that I'll link in the description, GR Level X Place Files. So you can see uh, APRS messages, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, flood advisories, a built in. Uh, if you live in Iowa, there's a lot of Iowa stuff, so you can look at Iowa webcams. Um, right here, there's lightning. So you get to see the lightning on the map. Um, there is all kinds of cool things that you, wind chills, wind gust, fire, um, all kinds of things. Um, and another thing that's really cool is the spotter network. You can see different uh, people spotting. So if we open this back up and I scroll, there is a lot of people around where this uh, over here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's moving pretty rapidly. Wow. Wow, okay. Um, and there's there's a lot of stuff going around here. This, this is really crazy. Anyways, so all the, there's a whole bunch of people um, that are, oh, look, the tornado. Oh, that tornado is moving really fast. These people have to go. Wow, okay. Um, Wow, okay, so um, uh, if you look here, there's these people, and um, uh, they're stationary right here, and these are uh, spotter people. Um, look over here, and you can hover over them. Some of them has their phone numbers, websites, stuff like that. Um, so there's uh, spotter people, basically, and you can have those kind of plugins in here. You can get um, stuff like uh, snow stuff. You can get the watch. The watches, warnings, and advisories, 
which if you look here, this yellow, that is part of it. And this green stuff here, that is what that is. And then you could also, um, you could get stuff where it tells you the one, uh, the uh, severe outlook in one day, which if you look here, you see these lines here, these are the one days. Um, the black is significant, which means there's a really big chance of stuff. Yellow means there's less. Stuff like that, and that's the one day. So, um, uh, yeah, it's a really, really cool weather radar. Um, over here, the cell here looks like it's getting slightly stronger. Let me move over to velocity. You can see the screen hasn't uh, became bigger, which is a good thing. Um, so there's two stuff over here. Stuff like that. So that doesn't look like it's doing too much damage, which is really good. But this stuff over here is being crazy. And it's really cool to see this stuff happen in real time. Uh, let me look at this. There's definitely a lot of activity on here. And um, uh, there's so many plugins you can get. You can customize it crazy. You can have. Uh, it tells you the storm tracks. You can not show the weather radar. Um, you can also pick different uh, radars. So if you want to go look at stuff in this area, you just click on this station. And it'll give you, uh, so there's multiple radars. So if you want to see what this looks like on a different radar in two different places, you can. And to get the plugins to work, so without, so these are also called place files, is the things here. So if we look at this, these are just everything by default. If we go here, we can see um, stuff on different radars. So if we want to see what this radar looks like to get like a different view of the perspective, you can. Um, it's always best to have the closest one as your like generally everyday used one. Uh, this one over here might give a slightly better accurate one for like this over here. So it, it can uh, help you determine more of like what the picture is, which is really, really cool and a nice thing uh, to have with these kind of radars and stuff like that. And there's radars just about everywhere covering almost every place in uh, the U.S. Um, but um, uh, pretty cool radar. It's $80 to get a key, um, which is which is really, really cheap. Um, you can get more advanced software that the people uh, have here f that can do 3D stuff. They can actually visibly see uh, the tornado uh, on a cartoony kind of thing, which is uh, really, really neat. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the software. It's really cheap. It's really cool. And if you love weather and want to get a crazy nice radar with all kinds of advanced features, I would say this is a pretty good uh, thing that you could get there. Um, advanced features, I really like it. Um, it's really cool to see like different tornadoes and like life's threatening situation. You don't have any sirens, and you're and you don't really have a weather radio or something like that. Um, sometimes alerts can be late. Sometimes there can't be. Sometimes they don't announce the tornado warnings and stuff like that until it's already almost too late. And if you know that there's some severe weather going on, and you just take a look at the radar and you start to see something forming, it's really easy to do that on this radar, and then you can be prepared. You're like, oh, there looks like there's a, f a pretty big um, vertex or wall cloud heading towards your area that if it dropped down, it could be super, super bad. Um, using this, you'd be able to see that um, perfectly clear so you know what to expect. Instead of you not knowing and all of a sudden you're under a emergency tornado warning, um, and it's almost too late and stuff like that, which is really good but to have something like this. And it's also just very cool to see what uh, what's happening without having to use news stations and stuff like that. So that's all. Um, I'll leave links to the download in the description. And I hope uh, 
you enjoy this video. And um, uh, yeah, I'm still learning how to use these kind of radars. Um, I have fairly inexperienced with these, but um, uh, I'm learning every day, so hopefully you enjoy this. 73.